the Deputy Commissioner for West Karo Hills District, the SP of West Karo Hills District, the SDO of Rathingri Civil Subdivision, all the teaching and non-teaching staff that is present here today, and all my dear students who are here to be part of this program. At the very outset, uh, I would like to apologize for the delay. I have always uh, maintained my stand that discipline is important in life and that starts with maintaining the time. So there has been two, three percent cases, but I could not do that and one of them is today. Uh, I sincerely apologize to all of you because I know you have waited for a long time. And number two, it sets a very bad example to the students especially. But uh, I couldn't help it. Uh, I was supposed to come by chopper, uh, which had to go for servicing and hence I came by road. And the last uh, five days I've been traveling continuously. And so uh, when we left in the morning, we were not able to make it here on time. So I sincerely apologize. It was something that was uh, not in our schedule. Uh, but I'm very happy to see all of you. And I'm happy to see that uh, all of you are still here in spite of us being late. Friends, we are here today for a very small program. It's nothing big. It is just handing over of uh, two buses and one more bus will be coming. So we'll be getting three buses. Uh, this demand has been there from the principal side. This demand has been there from the student's body. And uh, after receiving more than 100 letters from the student bodies, I got very tired of it. So I decided that better satisfy them, otherwise 101 letter will come. So that is why I am happy in the, to tell you that we are giving you three buses. And I hope no more letters will come. But then I was told by the president of the student union that now that we have given three buses, we will send you 200 letters more for the other things also. So I'm very happy to say that uh, I'm impressed with the kind of commitment that the student body has towards the welfare of the students out here. I'm also happy to see that uh, even the principal takes a lot of initiative uh, overall. And therefore, I'm very happy to give these buses to you. Please do use them properly. Please do maintain them and uh, I'm sure that this will help in uh, really facilitating a lot of your travel programs, plans, when you have to go for official programs here and there. Uh, so I dedicate these buses to all the students of uh, Tula Government College and to the, uh, to the staff and the principal out here. Having said that, uh, uh, friends, you know that I have been very, very aggressive when it comes to education sector in our state. And uh, this has been seen by a series of activities that we have been doing. After Tura Government College, you are all aware that we have one in William Nagar and one in Makmara now, which also was provincialized during our time in 2008. But sadly, after that, uh, there was no initiative taken to improve the building infrastructure out there. But you are aware that in the last few months, we have sanctioned funds for new building infrastructure in William Nagar and Bakmara and Mindi College and Rungjing College. So there are five colleges, uh, four colleges which should be coming up with new buildings and I'm sure that uh, these infrastructures will go a long way in uh, supporting the education uh, system in our region and in our state, especially catering to the youth from the rural areas who do not get opportunity to come to Thura Government College and study. So I must say that all of you are very, very privileged and very lucky to be here to get an education uh, in Thura Government College, which a lot of other students don't get. So please uh, do make use of your time and the opportunity you get. Uh, and to the youth, I always tell them to keep a few things in mind. And I know you'll get bored with this lecture, 
you must have heard this lecture of mine 100 times before, but I'll tell it 101 times because I want you to believe in it and listen to me. And, and there's few things that are there which I always tell you. And uh, that is number one, that always keep in mind that whatever you do, start with a purpose and an objective that you want to achieve. Don't let a position or uh, money guide you in what you do in life. Always let your heart move forward, your passion move forward, let your purpose move forward. And that is how you will succeed in life at one point in time. I mean, you will fail many times, trust me, because I have failed and uh, I'm telling you from my own experience, which has taught me a lot, by the way. So failure is good, but, uh, but if you keep your purpose and your passion in front, uh, there's a good chance that you will make it in life and you will come out successful in life. Uh, you have to work hard, just remember that. There's no compromise to working hard. I hope you all work hard. You know, if you think that you'll get lucky and everything will fall in place, it will never happen. So do keep that in mind that uh, there is no compromise uh, you know, to, to hard work that is there. And uh, discipline is something that I always believe in. And you should ensure that uh, you manage your time well. Time management, as you go ahead in life, you will find that there will be more and more constraint in managing your life and your time. So managing your time from an early age, especially for your school, college days, will help you manage your life even at, uh, and your time when you grow up and you have a family, and you have work to do, you have society responsibilities. So all these factors are there and I hope that uh, you all will keep these few points that I've said to you right now in mind. Um, I would have loved to stay along and uh, spoken to you all about many more things because I always like to interact with the youth. Uh, I keep telling people that uh, youth makes me feel younger. So, so that's what I like. Uh, I like uh, to interact with the youth. I like the energy of the youth. Um, I was just telling some of the students in ITI just now that uh, we as a state, we are coming out with a youth policy in the next one month. Uh, it's there on the internet right now. So I'll be very happy if some of you can go through that youth policy and give me your feedbacks as to what we could add in that youth policy. This policy is not being made for me, it's being made for all of you. So it would make complete sense for you to visit the website of the youth department of the government of Meghalaya, read the youth, youth policy that we come up, coming up with, give us your suggestions. It, it may be, you may think it's a stupid suggestion, but nothing is. It may be one of the best suggestions that you might get. Because you tell us what you would want us to put in that youth policy. So this is open for the next, maybe another few days. I urge all of you, to please go through the youth policy. I believe that this youth policy is going to be a landmark youth policy. I've shared the contents of the youth policy with government of India officials and the minister, and they were very excited when they heard what we were going to do. And they're saying if this succeeds there, this policy should be implemented throughout the country. So that's the kind of work that we're putting into this youth policy. And I hope that will make a difference uh, and ensure that we're able to really shape the youth in the best possible manner so that you can really contribute to yourselves, to your family and to our state and the country as a whole. So this is something very exciting that's coming up and uh, I look forward to the suggestions that will come from all of you. So friends, uh, I wish you all the very best. This last year has been very difficult for all of you, for all of us during COVID time, but we are back to more or less normalcy. But uh, please ensure that you are always safe and uh, try to ensure that you maintain your discipline as far as possible when it comes to all the uh, all the uh, protocols that have been followed. Uh, I have suffered from COVID myself uh, last two months back and uh, trust me it's not that uh, nice. So I've gone through it. Luckily I have some antibodies now so I'm protected for some time but uh, we never know how well it will go away. But if you don't want to get COVID then just make sure that you follow the proper protocols even though our cases are going down. It's been a difficult year. I hope that this coming year will be better for all of us. I once again take this opportunity to thank the principal and the DC for calling me here to, uh, to hand over the buses to you. As I said, 
This is yours. Please use them well. Maintain them well. I wish each and every one of you the very best in your life and in the future. May God bless each and every one of you. May God bless our beautiful state of Meghalaya. Thank you.